Hi everyone, Paul Akers, host of The American Innovator. You know, the innovative spirit is alive and well, and everywhere I travel around the world, I bring back ideas and creativity to share with my audience to continuously improve and change the way we live. Welcome to The American Innovator. Well, hello everyone. You know, I'm always looking for new technologies and new innovations. Well, this week, we're gonna take a look at the DJI Phantom Vision 2 Plus helicopter. I bought one and I started using it, and that's how you're seeing all this footage. I'm actually flying around a hotel in Bellingham, and I'm gonna do a full review on the product, how it works, and how this can really revolutionize videography and getting fantastic shots. So here we go. So I'm gonna do a first flight real quick. I got the battery facing towards me. And all I'm going to do is go like this, and it starts to go. This makes it go up. And what I've learned is don't go up really softly, but get it up in the air so it doesn't tip over potentially. So you'll see what I'm going to do here. You guys did that? Because it can want to tip. It can want to tip. When it first takes off, when I go forward, so just kind of jam it up. And look, at it just stays there. I can go up really fast. Well, I can come down, you want to do that slowly. And then this right here, control, goes to the side, both ways, the gimbal's compensating perfectly. See how that works? Boom, fast as I want to go. Just come right back to me, right like that. And I did do a little test. I took it way up high and switched the switch off. And when I did that, it went up and came down completely on its own and shut down, went through the entire cycle. So very easy to use. So see how the battery's not quite towards me. So we want to get the battery facing towards me. See if I push this lever, this one goes up and this one orientates my battery right towards me. And that allows my flight controls to work in um, total concert with the perspective that I'm in. So look how fast and easy that is. We decided to do it in grass first which I think was a good idea, because when we first took it off, we didn't jam it up hard enough, and it tipped over and hit the blade, but it was on the grass, so it wasn't an issue. So I think the grass thing is worth the extra time. We're in Balboa Park in San Diego, and gosh, this thing is crazy good, worth every penny of it. They could have charged me twice as much, but don't tell them that. Off we go, man. So what I'm doing right now is just Woo! getting familiarized with the and I'm helicopter, a rookie and I'm doing, and I'm showing how effectively it can follow someone. I've never done this before. Look at this. Look how fast this thing goes. Woo! And how stable the oh. photography is. Now that <laughs> almost was hit that tree. Close. I almost flew it right into that tree. <laughs> wow! Look at that. So remarkable. How maneuverable this thing is and how fast easy, it is. Easy, easy, easy. So here I'm going to follow this person running real quick. So you can kind of see how easy it is and then stopped it and then brought it right back. And wicked fast. Holy mackerel. The speed is staggering. And where anyway, we so we're just going to go down and this is our first flight. Now I'm gonna land it. When I land, I'm going down real soft. Real soft. And then I'm gonna pull it when it lands. I did this on grass in a big open area for the first time because they didn't want to have any problem. Now I'm gonna pull it all the way down and the props are gonna stop. Just like that. So there was my first flight. No crashing, pretty awesome. So this switch goes up and down. This switch uh, makes it go forward and back. You want to keep the battery towards you. As you see, I didn't do that here, but it's not a big deal. Normally, you're going to fly with the battery facing towards you like this, but you can get orientated pretty easy to what's going on. But I'd say overall, it's unbelievably easy to use. You can see the gimbal here is completely compensating for everything the helicopter is doing. This is one bad boy toy. I mean, <laughs> this is gonna take videography to the whole next level. So overall, a little bit confusing maybe getting going, but really it was incredibly simple. Just put the battery in and push the controls and it goes. <laughs> it was that simple, crazy easy. Okay, now there's our test right here. We're gonna turn this off right here and we're gonna see what it does. So we've got a yellow light there which says it lost connection. So there you go. It goes all the way up. 
So you have about a thousand it's doing its thing. foot it's gonna go range up and with this, a thousand foot up or a thousand come back foot to, to either us, side. Lost one expensive toy. And if you go beyond that, it loses contact, but what it does is it flies back to you. So I think it's uh, locating, positioning itself, making sure everything's good, and it's come back to mama. Come on, mama. Come on, baby, come on back. Lots of great fail-safe systems it's slowly built coming into down this. right now. Now, I bought one of these about a year and a half ago, and it really wasn't ready for prime time, but this thing is absolutely awesome. From start to finish, it's 100% ready to go. And you even have first-person view, so I can see what I'm filming on my iPhone that's on the remote control. Now, it's completely landing itself right now. I'm not doing anything. It came back to mama, if you will. Powering down, as you can see, it lands better than I can. All done. Pretty easy. So after we did our initial first flight, we walked across the bridge in Balboa Park down in San Diego, and we decided to fly it up around this mission or this church because we thought, wow, we could look at all the beautiful architecture. And we were very careful. We haven't crashed it at this point. Everything's going really well. And we just kind of go up around the mission. Now, the interesting thing that we discovered there was that there was a ceiling or height restriction because of aviation. The San Diego Airport planes come in around there. And so they limited you to how high you could go. I think it was like 200 feet. And now this is down in San Ignacio. So that next day I went down to ride the Baja 1000. And I took this down with me. So in between on our stops, this is in La Paz. I put it up in the air and just did 360s. Just rotated around 360 during the sunsets to kind of grasp the perspective and then one time when I was waiting for some of the writers to come I was a writer but I was waiting for the writers to come I got ahead of them I just flew it out over the desert and this just made a, a beautiful pan shot and then when the guys came down the road I flipped it around real quick and got a really cool perspective got back to San Diego flew it at my mom's house flew it over to my neighbor's house he had no idea I had it he was like what the heck is that and he's out in his garage working get ready to load up his car and I'm flying it all over the place and his wife gets in the car and, and waves that they have no idea that I'm filming and then I chase them down the street so I'm really getting pretty good at this again I've flown it a ton now at this point and I have no crashes or anything Look everything's that. going really good Look at that. you totally get it yeah yeah of course I get it you know I'm a techie grandma now my mom's 89 years old and I let her fly it I'm that comfortable letting people fly it I always just offer it to people Look because how you're being. it's very I mean, easy to use. Oh, another thing that I did is I went on Amazon and I bought the hard shell case, but I didn't like it, even though it's beautiful quality, because it's difficult to take on a plane, it's clunky. So um, my company, Fast Cap, we make the Flex backpack. So I had our sewing department make me up a really cool soft bag with a whole bunch of cushy foam on top, took the insert out, put it in, so now that goes in there, and the reason why this backpack's so cool is I went to go on the plane, because I didn't want to check this thing. I mean, it's a, spent a fortune on this helicopter, and this bag compresses really nicely and went in one of the small little puddle jumper planes, and that just worked out fantastic. This is the original Flex backpack from Fast Cap. Very cool for your camera gear and everything. And then we made a custom one just for the drone right there. Same handles, same backpack carrying mechanism. Just awesome. Fits in there. Everything well protected. Just a really killer system. Just pull your props off. Put them in there. Make sure the battery's orientated right towards here. Slide it in. And everything just goes in there just like that. We had to make a small cutout for the remote right here because it just didn't quite fit the Vision 2 Plus. But uh, it fits in there great once you make the little cutout and everything's good. And the nice thing is the, the manuals can go right up here at the top of the soft shell. They just slip right in there between the foam and we're good to go. So I went down to Cabo and I flew it through the arch. Uh, just an epic experience. Just crazy good. Almost hit the mountain when I went up. But I think here's the bottom line what I've learned about flying this thing. It's very easy to fly. The number one thing you want to remember, if you get in a situation where you're not sure what's going on, the escape is straight up. Make the thing go up as high as you can. 
altitude is safety in this case so one time i got too close to a building a gust of wind came it kind of blew it into the building i used the controls incorrectly and flew it into the building and wrecked it basically wrecked the thousand dollar helicopter i go out a second one and now what i tell everybody is when you get in a panic situation go straight up I would also recommend putting on the prop guards just in case you hit something, it's worth it. Remember, life's an adventure. Be a part of the solution. Go out, learn, improve, change, think outside the box. We can change the way the world thinks. Be an innovator. I really gotta stop getting myself in these situations. That's a leopard, and that's an elephant. Yes, and this is a cheetah. Like, oh, I saw that. Oh, cute. Uh oh. Uh oh. You got it.